Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Super Mario Odyssey on Nintendo Switch. We're continuing our 100% walkthrough game, so thanks for coming. Previous episode, we beat Bowser, saw the final endgame credits, and now landed in the Mushroom Kingdom. I figured, since there's no real requirement of how many moons we can get, I want to show off the kingdom a little bit before we jump into a live stream and figure out where everything's at. So, let's go collect a handful of moons and call it a day. If you guys are excited for the episode, definitely smash that like button. All right, Mario. Where should we go first? All right, so we got Todd here. Hey, Todd. Hi there. Hats are all the rage in the Mushroom Kingdom. Princess Peach brought them back from the moon as souvenirs. Okay, well, that's cool and all. But you can see that we got four coins over here. Awesome. There's actually a lot of things that we can do in this area. So let's find out what the first things are. So this is a boom box, of course. Maybe uh, we can't really do anything with that yet. There's Dory over there. In this particular kingdom, there are a lot of bosses that you can rematch, which is going to be pretty fun. And I don't necessarily want to rematch anyone. <laughs> I thought that was going to lead us somewhere. I don't know if I want to rematch anyone or just kind of explore around. So we can do boss rematches later during like live streams. So I'm not really feeling bosses. So let's see what other things we can find. Oh, sweet. We're going to take this. And uh, we know exactly where this goes. This is one of the golden seeds that you can find sprinkled throughout the entire Mushroom Kingdom. So keep your eyes open. And of course, if you go over to Toad's Gardens over here in this top spot, you can easily launch one into one of his four garden pots. So there we go. We'll wait a little bit until that comes to fruition. So let's see. We've got this over here. We've got a little motor scooter. Don't think we need that. We can do this challenge. Yeah, this one's pretty good. And you can see right now that all of the um, all the moons in this kingdom are actually superstars from Super Mario uh, 64. Oh wow, we didn't even get it. Holy moly, I was taking the long way. All right, let's not take the long way. All right, let's do this. We're gonna go. We're gonna go just a beeline over here. We're not gonna take the long way. Just beeline straight above. The top of that hill, and then we're gonna roll straight down it, alright? Superstar! No way! Really? Gah! I was going too slow. <laughs> and that's a, that's a beanstalk area, so I'm, I'm actually uh, kind of excited to see what kind of beanstalk uh, is over there. So let's try this for a third time, man. This is gonna be third time's a charm, right? We figured out our errors. Got it. Okay, third time's a charm. Done. <laughs> All right, that's pretty decent. Uh, let's take a look around here. Okay, so we do see a bunch of uh, little Goombas over here, right? So whenever there's lots of Goombas around, you know Oh, you know that there's going to be a girlfriend floating around. Ooh! Yeah, that one got me. Alright, so I want to make the tallest Goomba I could possibly do it. Uh, and at the same time, we're going to go find Goombella. No, there's no official name for her, but... We know that she's floating around over here somewhere, right? Yeah, there's... Uh, is that where she is at? I don't remember. Let's look around. There's a campfire. Oh yeah, there's a toad that's afraid of Goombas. That's right, this little toad right over here, he's like, I'm guarding this power star, but <laughs> I'm afraid of Goombas! <laughs> so I bring the Goombas over here, and you can tell that the music is exactly from uh, Super Mario 64, which is awesome. So we're gonna do this, we got another toad with a, uh, with a Mario hat on. Uh, we have this. Oh no, we can't do anything yet. Oh, dang it. We've got to drain the moat. Okay, that's okay. We'll, we'll drain the moat right now. We know how to do that. Now, in true Super Mario 64 fashion, you can indeed drain this moat, which is really fun. Uh, because you were able to do that in like halfway through the game in Super Mario 64, if I remember correctly. Uh, and then you have access to the invisible cap stage that was over there. And you can see that there's a, a Yoshi berry that's kind of stuck in there right now. 
<laughs> Just in time. So drain the moat. And we can see that there's another scarecrow up there too. So let's let's do this. Let's uh I guess we can do this into this. Oh what? What do you mean? There we go, perfect. Hello, lady! It's me. Super cool. <laughs> I love that. Alright. So yeah, we could drain the moat and inside that little stuffed up little um, pipe area is a it's a boss battle. So we're not gonna mess around with that too much. Let's see. Okay, so we got some more coins here. We're getting a lot of them, which is really fun. Oh, we can get this one. This one's pretty easy. We can simply put, jump inside here, run all the way around it. Yeah, and then turn around. Oh, and there's more. Oh, I know a fast way of getting these guys. Done. It's as simple as that. Good job, Mario. Way to go, Cappy. <laughs> oh, I know a way. <laughs> Done. Okay, that was pretty easy. Uh, what else do we have inside here? There's gotta be, uh, that's probably like a boss battle in there. I'm going to opt to not go. You know what, actually, you know what, here, let's see. Is it a boss battle? I don't know, let's see. Because if it la launches us to an area where there's a, po oh, the no, there's not. This is not a boss battle. This is uh, an area where we can hang out. Okay, if I recall this area, it is a tough one. All right, because you need to stay on this backdrop. If you miss this backdrop, you'll actually go 3D and you'll fail. And these bullets are everywhere too, this is insane. Yup, yup, hitting your head on that like a fool. Give me another bullet, please. Yep, that's fine. It's for the moon, man. Do it for the moon. 2D boost from Bullet Bell. And... wow. Oh, man. What? Oh, I didn't see that one there. Okay, here we go. Keep on going with this backdrop or else it's over. Okay, now let's see how we do this one. Oh, yeah, this one's scrolling upwards. Run! Run! Yes! Alright, here we go. Can we do this one, though? Yeah! Yeah, we can! But this one, on the other hand... Oh! Little room for error. Oh my! Yeah? Yeah? Okay, we're here. Oh, just when we thought it was over- Oh, come on! <laughs> ah, that's frustrating. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Let's go. Jump up in the sky. I'll be your one up, 2D Mario. I wish there was a turtle that I could get infinite lives right here. Or infinite coins. That would be interesting. Alright. Oh man, I just wanna I wanna speed run through this. Like I don't wanna mess around. Oh, you're kidding! You do an uh like a big jump every time you jump on one? Hmm. I don't know, I'm calling shenanigans on that. Yeah, totally calling shenanigans on it. Oh my goodness. Like, I just, I didn't even hold the jump button while I jumped on top of him. So that was kind of interesting. And I'm wondering, like, can you jump out into the 3D world and quickly cappy one of the, uh, one of the bullet bills? That would be pretty interesting. I'll be your one up girl. Here we go. Every time. Like the, I don't know. It doesn't feel like 100% true to NES, but it's close enough. Oh gosh. All right, here we go. Oh my, the whole left and right nonsense that I was talking to you guys about um, earlier in the DK section, or what, did I talk? No, I didn't talk to you guys about that yet. Uh, oh gosh, but the left and right is really nonsense in this. Really? Okay, this is overlap right there. Oh my gosh. 
Come on, go! Hello, and on a fuzzy. Dang it, fuzzy. Touch fuzzy, get dizzy. And I gotta go really on the bottom there, don't I? No, I don't, no, I don't. Go in, go in. I think we're done. But it's upside down. Oh no. Oh! You're kidding me! Oh, dang it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna do this. Yes! Upside down moon. Secret 2D treasure. Alright, here we go. We got we're getting some moons here. Moony! Don't moon me. Alright, so we got two moons in the area. That was actually kind of fun. I enjoy that. Those 3D sections are always really cool. Okay. So let's move on. Let's uh let's see what we got here. We got some coins on the edge. Coins on the edge are pretty cool. We can we can jump off and grab those. I don't see why not. Like, you can usually just throw your cap down. You can throw Cappy down to get those. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, I'm not gonna take a leap of faith. Sorry, game. I know you want me to, but... There we go. Cool. Oh, a little alcove over here. Ooh. Hey, there we go. Get some more coinage. Oh, here, little rat. Ew, rats. Oh, I hate rats so much. Get out of here. Leave. Your rat. Oh, so weird. Uh, the other day, uh, while I was uh, while I was in LA on vacation, uh, Jess told me that Rocco caught a mouse in the house, and that's scary. That's very scary. Okay, let's play a fun game. I think this is gonna be a fun one for you guys. You guys are gonna make, uh, you guys are gonna laugh and make fun of me so hard on this one. Uh, but anyway, Rocco caught a mouse in the house and it was really crazy. He's got a really good killer instinct for catching stuff. But if you find one mouse, you know what that means, that there's way more floating around somewhere. So we're gonna say, Rocco, go find those mice, dude. Picture match, put your best face forward. Here we go, we're gonna try it for a moon. All right, so we've got, uh, we gotta do a picture match. And this is how it works. See the character's face, take a good look because you're gonna have to put it back together. You're gonna have to notice things like his eyebrows look like swooshes, Nike swooshes, and they go away from his eyes, okay? You're gonna also have to notice that his eyeballs are kind of cross-eyed. And then his nose, mouth, and mustache. So I think we can do this. Okay, eyebrows uh, swoosh away. Eyes are cross-eyed, nose, and everything else like that. Okay, so let's start off with the nose, right? So we're gonna be a nose. I don't know if this is upside down, right side up, but I think I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Mario's nose is like right there. That's a pretty good guess, right? All right, let's do his stash. It's not an upside down stash, but I think his stash connects. I think his stash is like right there. Okay, so we're gonna do that. <laughs> we're gonna do his uh, his eyebrow. <clears throat> his eyebrow kind of touches like right there. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where his eyebrow goes. Uh, this is his other eyebrow. Gonna go right here. I think it overlaps on the line. I don't really remember. We're gonna go cross eyes. I think this is gonna be his other eye. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna say, like, that. I don't know what's a left eye versus a right eye. I really hope they're just mirror images. Because if we got the wrong eyes over here, that's gonna be a problem. Alright, so two eyes, and of course we're gonna go with his mouth. And his mouth kinda goes uh, in with his chin, right? Like that. I think we're good. Let's take a look and see what he looks like. And feel free to screen cap and send it to me on Twitter. It's hilarious. All right, 60 points to win. You scored? Hey, that's not too bad. 76 points, hey, you know what? That was good. <laughs> Don't screen cap it to me. If it was really funny and ridiculous looking, I would say absolutely screen cap it to me, but no, we're good. Okay, that's basically Mario. Just basically. 
All right, here we go. So we are going to launch off. Now, some of you guys are wondering, well, Abdallah, you didn't go inside uh, Prin Princess Peach's castle. Like, what are you waiting for? Like, all right, fine. I wanted to explore the outside, but I guess if you want to do that, that's fine with me. All right, so we did that. We can go grab our little scooter here. And we can move on over. Yeah, we can scoot around at any given time. And if you want to go a little bit faster, you just hold the Y button. You're all set. And you can dismount and you can go all over the place and just have a have a fun old time. What's this? Whoa. Better not be a moon. Okay, I was going to say. But those kind of moons are too, too easy, don't you think? Get me out of here. I'll run you over. <laughs> I'll run you over. Now, is this is this a moon? I swear if it's a moon. No, okay. I don't like those moons, guys. I think that takes little effort. So those kind of moons are not my friends. So here's Toad, he wants his sheep back. We've done the sheep thing inside the, um, the previous kingdom, which is the Sand Kingdom. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, we can also go over here for some of these coins, yeah. And of course, we can also go... Oh yeah, we can go inside there with Yoshi and unclog that. Here's this, we're gonna go grab our... Um... Oh, it's not ready yet. Okay, well, we just gotta wait a little bit more. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I did see something in here. This is gonna be a moon. <clears throat> All right, here we go. What was the name, Mips or something like that? <laughs> what was the name in uh, Super Mario 64? Like, uh, he was always in the hallways and you use him to phase through the doors. I remember that. It was good. It was good times, dude. Okay, so we caught one of him. Uh, I think we're good. We kind of gave you guys a little bit of a tour of the area. Let's keep on going this way. Oh, yeah, that's right. Scooters are really cool. Wasn't there a dory section, too? I don't think I showed you where that was. So, let's continue running through here. We got some Goombas. And, of course, you see all these little berries? Uh, those are some stars for Yoshi. So when you guys are playing along with, or if you guys want to join me in my live streams, uh, you guys can absolutely grab all of those with Yoshi, and Yoshi will give you at least two stars in the area for that. So here's Dory. Jumping on Dory's back. Pretty cool. Now Dory, believe it or not, I don't know why. Maybe they're waiting for like DLC or something like that, but you can't be Dory. Like you can't like trans uh, transform into her. It's weird. I mean, come on. You can transform into everything, but not Dory. Are you crazy? I don't know. It's a missed opportunity. It's all good, though. Okay, and then that little tunnel underneath there leads to a boss fight. So we can do that at a later time. There's Koopa the Quick Races. There's another uh, boss fight over here, I believe. Oh, nice. Is this just a regular beanstalk? Or is this going to take me all the way to the sky? Oh, no, it's just a regular one. Okay, not bad. All right, let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. We're here. We might as well head on over to the... Um, the castle, right? You want to see what Princess Peach is up to, right? All right, we're going to grab these. Sorry for the detour. I know you guys were expecting me. Hey, Toad. Awful news, Mario. Princess Peach has gone missing again. She packed her suitcase, happy as can be, and walked off. <laughs> we can't find her anywhere. Where is she? I don't know. Where is she? Okay. So, if you guys remember, Princess Peach's castle. This is it. Really cool. And this is a hint art. So, you can take a picture of this. And this is like Cap Kingdom, right? And it looks like... I don't know, you have to be standing in a spot where the big tower with the cap and the moon is directly behind it. I don't know, and then you ground pound and something's gonna happen? I have no idea. I've never done that one. I've done a couple of the um, other ones off screen, but it's crazy. Miss Tiara was here, and you can see that they don't have the doors anymore. There's like no doors over here. They did like a complete remodel of the place, but it looks beautiful. They have the same sundial, they have the same uh, little area here, and it's Toadette. Hold on, Toadette. Sorry, I, I gotta get these. Thanks, Toadette. Okay, so hi, Amara. It looks like you're on another big adventure. That's great. I hope you don't mind, but I've been traveling the world and keeping track of your achievements. 
I've also got power moons to give you as rewards for those achievements. Oh, hey, you've already completed Rescue Princess Peach. Congrats. So right now, she does exactly that. There's a list of all these crazy achievements that you can get with Toadette, just based off of playing the game. Uh, you can see the names of your power moons you'll get for all your achievements. I'll also add some hints to the power moon list, which you can see by opening your map. So here we go. Achieve world peace. Bring peace to all kingdoms in the world. Power moon knight, collecting 100 power moons. Power moon wizard. And power moon ruler, 600. But there's more than that. Uh, regional coin shopper. Uh, flat moon finder. You've got uh, collect power chests. You got note collecting world tour. So pretty much, if you go along the entire game and you really have to get every single one of these Toda achievements so that you can indeed... Oh my gosh. Jump, jump, jump. Jump! How many jumps you did? Wow, 10,000 jumps? Swimming in coins? Collect coins. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Rolling in coins. Loaded with coins. Fly, Cappy, fly. Throw, Cappy, 5,000 times. I'm gonna be on a live stream doing this. All right, guys, here we go. Just pressing the Y button. Just pressing, just throwing Cappy for another 4,000 times. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So anyway, are we done? There we go. We achieved something new. Achieve world peace. Got it. Yeah. Uh-huh. We got some more. Power Moon Knight. Same music as when you get a star in Super Mario 64. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Wait, you got another achievement. No collecting world tour. Doodly doo 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 doo. What, you got another slots machine? Oh yeah, we played the slots a lot. And yeah, you got some more. Every time she's clapping her hands, you got another one. Capturing novice. What else? Wait, you got another, oh, capturing apprentice. Hmm, not bad. We got a lot of these. Checkpoint flagger. Loaded with coins. We done here? Okay, I think we're done here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go back to the ship and deposit all of our moons so that uh, we can end off the episode. Pretty cool, 20 minute little showcase of what there is to do inside this kingdom. So I had, a, I had a fun time with that. And I see those three coins over there. I'm just gonna go grab them really quick. There we go. Who needs a bouncing mushroom when you can just fly like that? So here we go. Oh, this guy's rocking out too. We might as well get this one, right? Okay, so what does he want? He listens to music. He wants a flat and boxy classic. Uh, it's going to be, I don't know, flat and boxy classic? Anything 8-bit? Yeah, so anything 8-bit. You uh, let him listen to it, and then he'll give you a star. Moon. Thanks, dude. Okay, here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, let's deposit our moons. And then now, this is where we start the live stream series. So thanks for watching. Uh, 186, we got new uh, products in the shop. It's gonna be really fun. But of course, that's it. Now, the next episode, we're gonna fast forward a little bit and we're gonna find out what happens when you get the 64 additional um, moons, right? So you're going to unlock a new area, so stay tuned to the next episode for that. And then there's another benchmark once you get 500 moons, which is going to be the following episode after that one. So it's going to be fun, man. Just watch the videos in the playlist order and you guys are going to be good to go. So thanks so much for being here. Thanks for enjoying everything. And speaking of the playlist, you guys can click right here. Or of course, click the links in the description below so that you guys are on board with everything Super Mario Odyssey that's happening on the channel. I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. Uh, you guys can indeed catch the newest video on my channel. There are some recommendations there. And don't forget, click right over here to subscribe. Okay? You want to be notified of all the times that I'm live streaming, right? Do it. So, thanks so much for watching. And also, don't forget that we are doing a giveaway of a Nintendo Switch. It's going to be right inside here. Can't wait to give that to you guys. And uh, it'll be fun. We'll talk to you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.